behavioral bias is representativeness. Representativeness is a belief perseverance bias in which people tend to classify new information based on past experiences and classifications. Availability. Availability is a bias in which people take a heuristic approach to estimating the probability of an outcome based on how easily the outcome comes to mind. Endowment. Endowment is a bias in which people value an asset more when they hold rights to it than when they do not. Regret aversion. RA is a bias in which people tend to avoid making decisions that will result in action out of fear that the decision will turn out poorly. Education. L's behavior shows evidence of primarily cognitive biases. Cognitive biases result from errors in processing and retaining information, so modification through education can have an effect. Emotional biases result from feelings and isentics and are much harder to modify. Corridor width increasing volatility of fixed income implies a narrower corridor width because it makes divergence form the strategic asset allocation more costly because a further large move is more likely. Institutional IPS decrease in discount rate. The most likely effect of a decrease in the discount rate from X% percent to Y% percent would be to increase the calculated present value of TEPS liabilities. Risk objective. TEPS risk objective is to invest so as to minimize the probability that the market value of plan assets will fall below 65% of PBO. Sponsor financial condition. The company's debt slash asset ratio of is higher than the industry average of Y. OT's operating loss margin of Y is below the industry average loss margin of Y. Plan funding status. TEPS funding level of X% percent of PBO is less than the industry average. Plan provision. Employees over age 50 are allowed to retire early, whilst most airline industry employees are not allowed to retire early. The early retirement feature increases the present value of TEPS benefit payments compared to the airline industry. Plan provision. Titans retiring participants have the option to receive up to 50% of their benefit in a lump sum, whilst most airline industry employees do not have this option. The lump sum option increases the present value of TEPS benefit payments compared to the airline industry. Participant characteristics. At X, the average age of TEP participants is older than the airline industry average, resulting in a shorter duration for TEPS liabilities than that of the airline industry. O at 30%, the proportion of retired lives in TEP is above the airline industry average, resulting in a shorter duration for TEPS liabilities than that of the airline industry. O sailor has no current pension recipient, which increases the duration of plan liabilities. This allows for an AA risk tolerance due to low liquidity requirements and a longer time to make up funding shortfalls. Correlation. Sailor's return on plan assets has a low correlation with both the broad equity market and the company's operating results because the company is cyclical. The low correlation between S's operating results and plan asset returns allows for AA risk tolerance. The plan can seek higher asset returns. There is low probability that unfavorable returns will coincide with poor operating performance. Liquidity requirements for TEP are determined by the expected net cash outflow of the plan defined as the difference between payments to beneficiaries and contributions received from Titan. O Titan's planned contribution in year of dollar sign million falls short asterisk 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 MINIMUM return requirement. MRR is a rate that equates the present value of the plan's liabilities with the value of the plan's assets. This rate is the discount rate, 4.5%. Comparison the pension plan has a contractual required liability stream, whereas the foundation does not, which means that the liquidity I needs for the foundation are low. The foundation has the ability to adjust the distribution, which allows them to assume a higher level of risk than the pension fund. The time horizon of the community foundation is theoretically infinite, because it has no contractual liabilities, and is intended to operate in perpetuity, which affords it more time to recoup losses. The pension plan has shorter liability duration due to the need to pay benefits to retired employees. Longer liability duration increases ability to take risk. Asset allocation asset allocation park. Liability relative approach ends asset only approach implicitly assumes that the liability has no risk. By contrast, the liability relative approach focuses on exposure to factors that affect the present value of pension liabilities such as term structure, inflation, and productivity growth. 
Ends asset only approach considers a low risk pension investment as one having low correlation with the portfolio's existing assets. By contrast, the liability relative approach views the low risk investment as having high correlation with the pension liability. IPS related and should include real rate bonds in the plan's asset allocation. Because wages are growing with inflation and retirement benefits are indexed to inflation, the liability stream is sensitive to inflation. Shifting a portion of the allocation from nominal bonds to real rate bonds would be consistent with the liability relative approach. N should also increase the election to equities. Given the young age of the workforce, long average time until retirement, and high proportion of future wage growth expected to come from productivity growth, a larger allocation to equities is appropriate. Shifting a portion of the allocation from nominal bonds to equities would be consistent with the liability relative approach, because real wage growth is correlated with economic growth and equity returns. Fixed income recite, lower quality corporate bond spreads widen more than higher quality bond spreads in a weak economic environment due to a higher risk of default. The negative convexity of callable bonds limits the price appreciation relative to non-callable bonds in a falling rate environment. Higher coupon, mortgage pass-through bonds will experience higher level of prepayments and will have to reinvest it into lower interest-bearing securities when interest rates decline. Sector rotation occurs when an investment manager shifts the portfolio from a sector that is expected to underperform to one that is expected to outperform. Sector rotation trading strategies do not perform well in the corporate bond market as compared to the equity market because the corporate bond market generally has less liquidity than the equity market and higher trading costs than the equity market. Effective duration measures the sensitivity of a portfolio's price to a small parallel shift in the yield curve, interest rate risk. For a larger parallel shift, a convexity adjustment is used to improve the accuracy of the estimated price change. Key rate duration captures non-parallel shifts, yield curve risk, such as a steepening in slope or a twist in the yield curve. It measures the effect of changes at key points along the yield curve.